Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray you're all doing well this morning. And uh, I'm starting off with some uh, some iced tea. I had coffee already. I don't mean I'm not going to have more coffee. but <laughs> oh. All right. Well, this morning we're going to start off in Psalm 102. And then we have a reading in Proverbs. And then we're going to Acts. So, let's get started. Psalm 102, verses 1 through 17. And as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me. Answer me speedily in the day when I call. For my days pass away like smoke, and my bones burn like a furnace. My heart is struck down like grass and has withered. I forget to eat my bread. Because of my loud groaning, my bones cling to my flesh. I am like a desert owl in the wilderness, like an owl of the waste places. I lie awake. I am like a lonely sparrow on the housetop. All the day my enemies taunt me. Those who deride me use my name for a curse. For I eat ashes like bread and mingle tears with my drink. Because of your indignation and anger, for you have taken me up and thrown me down. My days are like an evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. You are remembered throughout all generations. You will arise and have pity on Zion. It is the time to favor her. The appointed time has come. For your servants hold her stones dear and have pity on her dust. Nations will fear the name of the Lord, and all the kings of the earth will fear your glory. For the Lord builds up Zion. He appears in his, he appears in his glory. He regards the prayer of the destitute and does not despise their prayer. Good stuff. All right, next, uh, the Old Testament lesson. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 through 12. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh, and refreshment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, and with the first fruits of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty, and your vats will be bursting with wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, or be weary of His reproof. For the Lord reproves him who he, whom he loves, as a father the son in whom he delights. And that's good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Get a little, little iced tea here. Oh, something cold after the workout I had this morning. It was, it was a good one. All right. Uh, next, we're going to Acts chapter 7, verses 44 through 56. Our fathers had the tent of witness in the wilderness, just as he who spoke to Moses directed him to make it, according to the pattern that he had seen. Our fathers in turn brought it in with Joshua when they dispossessed the nations that God drove out before our fathers. So it was until the days of David, who found favor in the sight of God and asked to find a dwelling place for the God of Jacob. But it was Solomon who built a house for him, Yet the Most High does not dwell in houses made by hands, as the prophet says. Heaven is my throne, and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house will you build for me, says the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Did not my hand make all these things? You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit, as your fathers did, so do you. Which of the prophets did your fathers not persecute? And they killed those who announced beforehand the coming of the righteous one, whom you have now betrayed and murdered, you who received the law as delivered by angels and did not keep it. Now when they heard these things, they were enraged, and they ground their teeth at him. But he, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. And this is the word of the Lord. All right, we'll go to the Pray Now app, and I'll read the prayer of the day. 
And by the way, pray, uh, the Pray Now app is from Concordia Publishing. And uh, it's a pretty good one. I think it cost me like 10 bucks years ago, and it's, it's, a, it's a good one. All right, uh, let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, you showed forth as blameless, true, God-fearing, just, and sanctified your suffering prophet, the righteous Job. Through his valiant endurance and long-suffering patience, you taught us how to live in a broken world under your great mercy as you set us free from our sins and rescued us from the punishments we deserve through the all-sufficient sacrifice of your only begotten Son, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, now and forever. Amen. All right, well, the prayer had mentioned Job, and I'm sure we've all read about Job, but, but there's a short paragraph here. And uh, I'd like to share that with you. Job was a blameless and upright man who came from Uz, the land northeast of Canaan. The book of Job examines the depths of his face, of, of his faith, <laughs> which was severely tested through the sufferings God permitted. Despite the sudden death of his ten children and the loss of all his wealth and his health, Job refused to curse God, saying, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Still, in the midst of his tribulations, Job questioned the meaning and purpose of, his suffer of, of suffering to the point of asserting his own righteousness. Finally, the, the Lord revealed that a man cannot know the mysteries of God. Job's faith in his Redeemer and the resurrection prevailed. In the end, the Lord restored Job's wealth and blessed him with another seven sons and three daughters. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless.